Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and of course today we are continue our study on the on the what on the kingdom fungi and looking at the classification of fungi based on spore formation. In the previous episode, we looked at the classification based on what? On nutrition. We say that classifying to saprophytes, saprophytic, parasitic, and symbiotic. And we made what? A very, very, and you had a very, very enjoying time. All right. So, also in this class, I'm going to look at what? Classification based on what? On spore formation, based on how they form characteristic or spores that are made to go and thrive. All right. So, of course, uh, kingdom fungi are classified into the following based on spore formation. Do not forget that this video, this tutorial is brought to you by the one and only OTD Schools Jam app. It is all you need to succeed in your jam examination. It's a CBT practice app. So that's why you should not joke with it for any reason. It has all the jam pass question, all the jam pass question that you ever need for all subjects are in one application. All right. And it has some wonderful features, very wonderful features. Okay. Like the classroom feature where you put yourself in the class following the jam syllabus, you study a particular topic and then you take tests on that particular topic before you move to the next one on that feature you do not want to joke with it we also have the question search feature where you can search for question according to topic okay so use your topic to search for question and all the questions that jamba says under that topic will come out whole for you to answer is that not interesting also also have the utme challenge that will conduct for all students that are participating in jam this year so you compete with your mate every week saturday every week saturday till one week to the main jam exam so you are you are participating in mock every week you are participating in mock every week you are seeing your result release every week so so you are able to gauge your progress or preparation, you're able to what to get used to our jam, set that question, and also you are gaining confidence towards the main exam. You do not want to joke with this app. Uh, you need to activate the app once you download it. So once you go to Play Store now, you download that app, you need to what activate it with just 3,000 error. As at the time of shooting this video, the price will definitely what to go up. So please make sure you focus on passing your exam at once. You do not want to write jam twice, so you do not want to write jam twice. Pin your bomb bomb in one place and study. Start studying what today. All right. So please activate the app to activate just download the app click on activate at the top you see buy activation key so that is where you see where to buy activation key you can pay using your atm card online that one activate your app automatically all right or you can of course transfer to the otd schools app account okay it's a money point account or a zenny bank account so transfer to the to the account and after you have made transfer just send the receipt to this number on whatsapp zero nine one two one five one five two Forces. So once you snap the receipt, once you screenshot the receipt, the POS, once you snap the receipt, the POS gives to you if you are paying with POS, or once you what screenshot the receipt from your bank, just send it to this number on WhatsApp and just be patient. You'll get what they reply and your app will be activated for you manually. All right. So please choose any method you want. You can also use Google Pay to pay. It requires that you have made a purchase from Google Play Store before. All right. So please jump on the app. It's a unique opportunity for you to succeed and smash your jam very, very well. Especially for a topic like a subject like biology, you need to practice a lot and get used to what are they said their question. All right. Let's look at the classification of fungi based on spore formation, based on how they form characteristic spores. Okay. And of course, we said. Uh, number one is what zygomycetes. Okay, so classify them. Number one is what is zygomycetes. All right, so now these are formed by the fusion of two different cells, two different cells coming together. That's what that is how was zygomycetes what is formed. All right, so the sexual spores, the sexual spores, please take note and call what zygospores. Okay, that means that what the fungi that forms zygospores are what zygomycetes. All right, so please take note of that. The fungi that forms zygospores is called what zygomycetes. Okay, so the sexual spores are known as what zygospores, while the asexual spores are known as what sporangiospores. Okay, so please take note of that. The sexual is what zygospores, the asexual is what is sporangiospores. All right, so please take note of that. We said the sexual spores are known as zygospores, the asexual spores are known as what as sporangiospores. And we say the hyphae are without the scepter. That means what we call it that we call it, we say they are sionitic, sionitic, C O E. Okay, we say that what they are sionitic. So the high five of what of this was zygomycetes, they are usually we type was septa, septa. We say that they are what they are non sept, non septate. Okay, we say they are non septate. Okay, or we can say they are accepted. 
Okay, we can also say they are what? They are accepted. All right, so these are the kind of words, these are words that can be placed with, uh, without what the setter. All right, that means the high fire of what of Zagumai said this uh, uh, fungi do not have what the setter. That means they are accepted or they are what non accepted. And we usually call them what sionitic what, uh, we call them sionitic what high fire. You see, they are what the high fire what are sionitic. That means they do not have what setter. All right, so please take note of that about the Zagumai So that is the first one, and then number two. We have the ascomycetes. The ascomycetes. This one, the i fi uh, rather, this one, they are also called what the sac fungi. We call them sac fungi in biology. All right, the ascomycetic. The what the sac what fungi. See what they can be caprophilus. What we mean by caprophilus is that what they love what so coprophilus rather it means that they love what dung. They, they love dung. You know what dung is shit. They love what the dung from what from animals. They grow and live. In the dung of what of animals, all right. So you see that, that they can be what they can be coprophilus, they can be decomposers. Okay, that means the word they love what decomposing or breaking down of what of organisms. Okay, they can break down what organisms, all right. So we say what they are decomposers, we say they, they are also parasitic and they are what. Or they can also be what be saprophytic. You know what this one means, all right? This one means that they feed on what dead decaying organic matter, all right? This one, parasites. Okay, you know what parasitic means, all right? So, ascomycetes are called sac fungi. So, take note of that. So, the question will come which of the following uh, uh, fungi is called what sac fungi? Okay, we're given this option. So, please make sure you know that what ascomycetes is also called the sac fungi. Okay, we say that can be coprophilus. By coprophilus, it means that what they, they love what dung, they love animal dung. Okay, or they can be what decomposers, or right? they like breaking down other organisms into what smaller what into smaller units, and they have what parasitic or what they can be what saprophytic. All right, so we say the sexual spores. The sexual spores are called asco, ascospores, ascospores, ascospores. The, se the sexual spores are called ascospores, ascospores. That means the fungi that forms what ascospores is what is the ascomycetes. Okay, so take note of that. Then asexual reproduction occurs by conidiospores, by conidiospores. All right, why for zygomycetes is by what? Yeah? We saw it by what? By sporangiospores here. Yeah? Why this one is by conidiospores? Please take note of that. Then now number three, we say basidiomycetes. Basidiomycetes, all right? We say mushrooms are the most commonly found basidiomycetes and mostly live as what? As parasites, okay? So I'm sorry, I didn't really list some examples here. So example of, of zygomycetes is what is muco. Muco, that is M-U, M-U, C O R O. An example of what of a zygomycetic or fungi is muco. Please take note of that. An example of a zygomycetic fungi is what is the muco. All right. Why the example or an example of the ascomycetic fungi is called is the saccharomyces. Sacro, sacro, All right. That is S A saccharomyces. Okay, saccharomyces. Okay, example of what of an ascomycetic fungi is the saccharomyces. All right, is the saccharomyces. All right, so now, basidiomycetes. Say mushrooms are the most common found basidiomycetes and mostly live as parasites. And they will say sexual reproduction occurs by basidiospores. Okay, so the fungi, the fungi that forms basidiospores is the what is the basidiomycetes. All right. Very easy to understand. The fungi that form basidiospores is what basidiomycetes. So you may be asked the question: the fungi that forms zygospores is the word, of course, is the word is zygomycetes. If you see the ZZ, you will know. All right, the fungi that form what zygospores is the zygomycetes. The fungi that forms uh, uh, what is the next one? Uh, uh, ascospores is the ascomycetes, while what the fungi that form what bad basidiospores is the word basidiomycetes. Okay, now for the basidiomycetes, accessory reproduction is by conidia. Conidia is a means of uh, uh, it's a means it's a, a means of what accessory reproduction. Then by budding, by budding, whereby new organisms are formed from the bud of existing organisms. Okay. A new organism is formed by from the board of an existing what organism. So you see that what each of those what boards now, each of those what organisms become they are, they are individual, they are individual and they are what they are made to go and what thrive okay by themselves. Okay, also have fragmentation, okay, whereby an organism what breaks down into what fragments. It breaks down what into what fragments, and each of those individual fragments, all right, go to what to 
to what to form what new what organisms. Okay, so that is what budding, that is what fragmentation and by so asexual reproduction in basidiomycetes is by what conidia is by what budding or what fragmentation. You must take note of that. Then lastly, we have deuteromycetes. Now I uh, think in biology, these deuteromycetes have been broken down into into ascomycetes or basidiomycetes. So you may likely not see this fourth one, deutero uh, deuteromycetes. Because it's, it's called what imperfect fungi. They do not follow the normal or the regular pattern of, of reproduction as other fungi. The deuteromycetes do not follow the regular pattern of, of what normal reproduction of what of fungi. Okay, so they do not reproduce sexually. They do not reproduce sexually. Asexual reproduction is by what by conidia. Okay, asexual reproduction is by what by conidia. All right. So please, these are what are. Uh, the classification of fungi based on spore formation. We say zygomycetes, they are formed by the fusion of two different sex. Okay, the sexual spores are the zygospores, while the accessory spores are known as the sporangiospores. And we say the hyphae are usually without what scepter. Okay, they are non septed they are accepted. We are called them what sionitic what uh, I fi. All right, then we say what ascomycetes, they are uh, example of zygomycetes we said is what is mocha, right? Well, right, that, that is muco. We say an example, an example is what is muco. They will say for ascomycetes, they are called sac fungi. Okay, they can be coprophilus, that is, they love what dung. They can decompose us, they can break what organisms into what smaller fragments. They say what they are, they can be parasitic, and they say what they are what also what saprophytic. Okay, so the sexual spores, we say they are what ascospores, they are sexual or caused by what by con. Conidiospores. All right. I will say an example is what Saccharomyces. You know, I was saying Saccharas, Saccharas, Saccharas. So please, all these biological terms can be can can cause those kind of uh, uh, tongue twisting. So Saccharomyces is an example of Ascomycetes. And then we say, well, for basid for, for Basidiomycetes, mushrooms are the most commonly found Basidiomycetes and mostly live as what as parasites. We say sexual reproduction are caused by Basidiospores. And accessual reproduction is by either by conida, budding, or what uh, fragmentation. An example is agaricus. Examples agaricus. A G A R I C U S. An example is what is agaricus. Example of basidiomycetes is what is agaricus. All right. Now we have what the ditromycetes, which I said as now will be broken down into what ascomycetes or basidiomycetes. All right. Now being grouped under what one of these two. All right. So now we say what they do not follow the regular pattern of reproduction as other fungi. All right. So they do not reproduce sexually at all, but asexual reproduction occurs by conida. And an example is what trichoderma. Example is what trico trichoderma. An example is what is is trichoderma trichoderma. An example is trichoderma. So please take note of that and take note of what of the examples. Now I'm going to go to the O3 School Jam app. I'm going to answer some questions from the app based on what we have done today and will be done with this class. All right. So that in the next class we we'll now look at the production in fungi proper and then we are done. All right now, this is my app. I'm opening my app and I'm using the question set feature. They say this is a 1997 number seven. It has been displayed on the screen right now. They say uh, which of the following perform similar functions? Okay, which of the following perform similar functions? Okay, they say a ascospores and ascocap. Ascospores and asco ascocap. They say b anterozides and rhizoids. Say c soros and indusium. Say D, strobili and inflorescence. Okay, so the correct answer there is what is ascospores and ascocap. Ascocap is the fruiting body of what of an ascomycetes fungi. Ascocap is a fruiting body of an ascomycetes or fungi. Okay, and in the life cycle of an ascomycetes fungi, where we have what where the what where they form what the the ascospores, right? We also have what the ascocap is like. What is like is a sac. Okay, all right. It's like what is like a sac. Okay, so we have we also have the ascoscope. So and the what they also what perform what the same function as what as the ascospores. All right. So please take note of that. A correct answer there will be what will be ascospores and ascocap. Okay, so if you want to look know the uh, the other ones, you can what just just try and what look up on them. Then of course we have a, a 1995 question number three. Here. They say one common characteristic of fungi, algae, mosses, and ferns is that they, they say a show alternation of generation. 
All right. They say B, reproduce sexually by conjugation. They say C, produce pores that are dispersed. They say D, possess chlorophyll in that tissue. Okay, those fungi have chlorophyll, so no. So that one I said, well, first of all, what cancel the option D? Option D is already very wrong. Okay, so C, produce pores that are dispersed. Okay, fungi do, algae do, mosses do, ferns do. So the correct answer there will be what will be, what will be C. Okay, all fungi are produced by spore formation that is embedded in the sporangial spore. All right, and we say what well, the algae mainly the chlorophyta that is the spirogyra reproduced by by conjugation. Okay, we we'll say fence and mosses also reproduced by spore word formation. So an explanation to the answer is what is there for you on the app also. So as you answer a question, you see what the explanation. All right, uh, then uh, a 2022 question. This is a um, model two. Okay, question eight. They say certain plants such as fungi reproduce asexually by certain plants such as fungi reproduce asexually by what by spore word formation okay so we say what well, a budding b binary fission c spore d rhizomes and the answer is what is by spore word formation we have seen that before even the previous what episode so please uh this is the classification of fungi based on what on spore formation and of course in the next class we're going to see the production in what in fungi proper and then we'll see the uses of fungi and then we're done with the kingdom fungi all right my name remains mco we'll be, please download that app make sure you activate today and make sure you are liking this video make sure you are subscribing to this channel and make sure you are sharing our videos to others thank you and I'll see you in the next class